There's a wellness fair happening this weekend in Montgomery, and you're invited to attend. Joining us now in studio is Montgomery Councilman Aranda Mitchell and Dr. Melissa Carter. Thank you both so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Hi, thanks for having me. Aranda, I got to point out this shirt. It is nice. Yes. Tell us about this shirt and the event. So the shirt comes from last year. This will be our second year doing the Live Well Montgomery uh, Wellness Fair. Um, and it's April the 29th. So this is just one of the products that we brought out last year. Dr. Carter, live well. Why are events like this so important? Um, in the in the African American community, you know, there's a, a disparage in seeking health care. And so with Councilman Mitchell um, having programs like these, it makes it easy, you know, to have access to health care, point people in the right direction for follow-up, things like that. Very why, important. Why do you think that is? Why do, why is there that disparity? Um, it's I several know things, a, you know, several <laughs> things. Um, question. It could be, you know, the, a lot of rural participants not having access. Um, insurance is a big thing, pay. Uh, and also, you know, just someone taking that time to talk to them. And, you know, healthcare is so fast now. So taking that time to actually talk with people and explaining how important it is early and not late early. So early intervention is key. Councilman Mitchell, you represent so many people in Montgomery. Why was it important to offer these resources to your community? So it was, it was really important because most of us don't have that access that we need to health care. And we wanted to bring it to the community. I know we make so many excuses that I can't get there. So we, we do it, last year we do it, did it in South Montgomery. This year we're doing it downtown at the multiplex. So there's no excuses that you cannot get there because we're coming to you. And when you say we're coming to you, Dr. Carter, what does that mean? What will what resources will be there? What can people take advantage of if they come out? Well, one of the most important things that Councilman Mitchell has put together is the CPR. You know, oh, CPR that is very certification. Important. You know, with the athletes, like you know, Councilman Mitchell points out, you know, athletes collapsing on the field. You know, cheerleaders. They they want to play sports, but that first three to five minutes to get help to them. To start CPR is very, very crucial. The automatic external defibrillator, having that in place, it saves lives. It's been proven countless times. It saves lives. It's important for our athletes. It's important for our kids. We're heading in it summertime. Is. Kids mm -hmm. will be in summer camp. Right. We'll have more babysitters mm -hmm. working yes. in the homes. Everyone right. can benefit. We've been talking about that. Hopefully yeah. we can get that community together and get some babysitters trained yeah, some and stuff babysitters, as well. Some babysitters, some nannies, some right. camp counselors. Absolutely. Everyone can benefit this yes. summer from CPR. Councilman Mitchell, what, what did people say after attending last year? Well, they, they loved it. Um, the only thing, the weather didn't permit us to, to have as many people. So we moved it inside, um, partnering with the city of Montgomery, Trenum. We moved it inside so weather won't be a factor. Um, and the biggest thing is we have a health um, demonstration for us food. Uh, we want to teach people how to eat healthy. And also, people don't know that line dancing is a part of being healthy, so we are doing line dancing and yoga there. So we're going to offer an array of things, and every year we're going to build on what you see this year. Look, line dancing is moving, right? Yes. And, and you're I moving, you're getting active. <laughs> right. That, that yes. all counts as fitness. Right. <laughs> what else can people take away from this event? What else do you want people to learn? Early intervention. That is so important to yes. me in my practice, not to wait until it gets to the point where you're trying to maintain to have a quality of life. You want early intervention. You want people to know that if you can live right and eat good, you know, you can, and you can prevent exercise, some of these things. right? Early, early intervention. That's the key. Councilman Mitchell, most important details, date, time, location, and do people need to register? So two, two things. It's going to be April the 29th from 9 to 1 o'clock. And the only thing that you need to register for is the CPR class, and that's a pre-registration. And you can simply um, contact me at Oronde, I mean, O. Mitchell at Montgomery.gov to do the pre-registering for the CPR. But the only thing we ask, come out. Um, if you want to volunteer, your organization want to volunteer, same thing, reach out to me. We can use you. Saturday, April 29th, downtown Montgomery. Again, if you want to participate in that CPR class, or if you know someone who can take advantage of them, you need to pre-register for that. But right. everything else, just, just show come up. out and have a good time. Yeah. All right, Councilman Mitchell, Dr. Carter, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thanks for Thank having you. me.